there any advanced tips that you would recommend to uh, uh, optimize the page speed or uh, reduce your bounce rate or improve your user experience signals? Right. Um, advanced tips, um, not really without looking at specific examples, specific case of some kind of a website. In general, I recommend a few things. So an easy one is if you are, if you have Google Analytics already, and Sandeep, you already mentioned it. Don't look at the bounce rate in general. Look at, break it down. So is it, is certain channel, let's say your uh, AdWords PPC channel has way higher bounce rate than your organic channel. From there, you can extrapolate that something is not right. Uh, and then you can, from there, take it to the next step and maybe check your ads, maybe check your landing pages and so on and so on. Um, other things you can look at which pages specifically have bounce high, high bounce rate. Maybe your homepage is fine, but maybe your contact page has 100% bounce rate, meaning that something is definitely wrong. Right? So uh, looking at overall tells you just kind of an average, is there a problem on average, but it could go either way, right? Uh, it could, some pages have really good bounce rate, other pages can be very horrible. So that's one of those tips that anybody can do. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, which I really like, uh, it's, we use it all the time. If you have uh, somebody older in the family, grandma, grandpa, I don't know, aunts, uncles, give them your website on a mobile phone and just observe observe, let them play with it. Like tell them, hey, grandma, can you go to my website and find contact page or something like that? And see how they do it. Because the way they do it, they'll tell you exactly how people are interacting with your website when they're having issues. Uh, and especially older people, they, they're not as familiar with technology. So it's very easy to understand where you're lacking. If they're trying to click on something, and it's not supposed to be clickable, then you can kind of ask why they were trying to click on it uh, and so on and so on. There are of course a bunch of different uh, paid tests and the user studies and all that stuff, but <clears throat> unless you're a large corporation and you can afford a lot, just give it to your grandpa. That's <laughs> what I always say. Or And then you can al al always take it into different directions, right? You can always give it to your uh, maybe a kid, like kids are also very uh, interesting to see how they interact with the mm -hmm. websites because they complete in a comp they think in a completely different way, right? So I'll give it to your, I know, five-year-old daughter or niece or whoever and see how they interact. And then you can give it to your friends that are about the same age. So that way you can get each group and they will tell you something different. Um, mm -hmm. And in terms of flipping user experience upside down. Um, unfortunately, a lot of business owners, a lot of developers, when they have their own website, when they develop their own website, it's, uh, they can't look at it, or it's very difficult to look at it with a critical eye because you know, it's, it's something I did, it's my baby. You know, it, 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 it's awesome, I, I can't blame myself type of situation. Um, you need to disengage from that and think about your own experiences, good or bad, on other websites. So you go to a website and you hate it. Take that mental record, why? Why do you hate that thing? And then ask yourself, is something similar happening on my website? Sometimes it goes like this. You go to a website and it looks beautiful and it has different animations and little transitions and it, it, they're using some kind of uh, like CGL 3D things or whatever. In, if you have a really good powerful computer and you're using the latest browser, it would be awesome to use that website. But if most of your people are not using that, if they have you know small uh, like Chromebooks or something, then they might not be able to do it it's just going to be very laggy. You're not going to be able to scroll, right? So your intent there originally might be very good. Okay, we want it to be the most beautiful website ever, but you overloaded so much 
some people's computers are they just can't keep up with it. Or if they use Internet Explorer, quite a few people are still using the Internet Explorer or any other browsers like uh, that are not supporting the latest technology. Uh, Microsoft Edge, um, even sometimes Firefox or like Opera, there's tons of them, right? And all that stuff you can also get from your Google Analytics. It's all for free there. And you can see which browser has the highest bounce rate. And then you can kind of uh, go down the, the rabbit hole and, and find out what happens. Thank you.